Hello everyone, it's Joni with This Busy Mama. We're heading into Goodwill to see what we can find to flip for a profit. I'm gonna look this up. This was a Vilroy and Bach plate or tray platter I'm not sure what you would call it the comps on that were around $50 so I did pick that up this is a ruby red coin dot dish we pick this up. We'll see how it does. These Russ berry figurines are very collectible and I thought this one would be perfect with Valentine's Day coming up so we picked that up. This was a pretty heavy pottery piece. I thought maybe it could be Betty Selby, but it wasn't marked. I would have picked up this flocked bunny bank, but it did have some damage there on the side of it, so it's missing some flocking, so I left that one. This is a pretty little butterfly pin cushion, and I, I can't remember what it says, our doll Japan. Um, we're going to go ahead and try it. I do have some other pin cushions listed in my shop that have been there for a little while, but we'll see. Somebody out there collects pin cushions. I know they do. This is a Fenton, I think it's called Thousand Eye, something on the order of that. It is marked Fenton on the bottom. Some of these older radios can bring a good chunk of change. I just haven't really 
tried messing with them yet. Danny found this pretty plate tray. Um, I like the design on it and it has some holes in there for hanging. So you could hang it either direction. I see these Walking Dead mugs, glasses, and I did look them up, but I think they were only selling for about $20, so I passed on those. At first glance, we thought this was a Pyrex dish, but it actually says Pyro Ray. These kaloshes are great for use for making little Christmas decorations, but I have no time for that kind of stuff right now, so I'm just trying not to bring it into my house because projects go unfinished lately. Danny found this crate for me. I love old things like this, and this will be in my own collection.
I love the bread box down here on the bottom shelf. It is missing its handle and it is way too big to try to ship and it's just not cost effective. I find a lot of primitive things in this store, and I wonder how many of you decorate with primitive items. My whole house used to be primitive, and now it's more of the farmhouse style. Let me know down in the comments. We picked up this swan ring holder. It's silver plated.
this little puppy looked pretty old to me. His tag was way faded though, and I couldn't read anything that it said, so I passed on that. This bell was really pretty, and if it did not have damage to it, I would have picked it up because it would have sold for a pretty good profit. And I found these Taylor Smith and Taylor. Uh, these are the Lazy Daisy pattern. I did pick up the salt and pepper and the butter dish. Hello everyone! So we're gonna go through our haul here and show you what we picked up at the Goodwill today. Um, let's start with the brass butterflies. These do pretty well for me, these Home Co. brass butterfly wall hangings. They've just got a little hole on the back so you can hang them on the wall. I picked these up for $2.29 and they're listed for $15. Next is this little Russ and Berry Company. I don't know what you call these. Figurines? Paperweights? I'm not sure what they're exactly called. This one says Falling in Love is Wonderful. I thought this would be great for Valentine's Day. This one was half off, so it was $1.15, and it's listed for $20. Um, next is this Ardalt Japan um, Butterfly Pin Cushion. The center piece here is the pin cushion, and it's got all of these little tiny porcelain flowers on here and none of them are chipped. They're all in great condition. And it has the sticker on the bottom. If it will focus. This was a dollar fifteen also so it was half off. And it's listed for fifteen. Next we have these Taylor Smith Taylor salt and pepper shakers and this is the lazy daisy pattern and they have their stoppers. Um, this one, the bigger one of the two which I believe is the salt shaker, has this mark on it right here you can see that it's kind of like a rough bubble but it is like um, it was done in the glazing or manufacturing of it so it's not like a, a flaw like a chip or a crack it's nothing like that it's just in the manufacturing so these I paid $3.09 for and they're listed for $18. I've done pretty well with Taylor Smith Taylor stuff in the past. I've sold the rooster, um, the rooster print. I'll show you real quick. So this is the rooster print. And I need to get these listed. I've had them just sitting in the cupboard for a while and I don't collect salt and pepper shakers so I don't know why I still have these. I also have a creamer I think or a gravy boat I'm not sure but um 
Yeah, these are Taylor Smith Taylor. I sold like a whole set of this pattern in the past and it did really good. So I'm hoping that the Lazy Daisy will do good also because I picked up the butter dish to go with that. And they are brown on the bottom. And the butter dish is in great shape. It does have some light scratches inside from being used, but there are no cracks or chips on it. And I paid $309. Sorry, I don't know if I told you. Yes, I did. $309. I paid for this and it's listed for $18, just like the salt and pepper shakers. And next is this little Foley. Um, bone china floral dish. The flowers are really cute. This is the cor corn flower pattern. <clears throat> and uh, this, I paid $2.29 for it, and it is also listed for $18. I also picked up this heart shaped Mikasa dish that has like a scalloped edge and there's also some embossing in there can you see that around the edges this little detail here and it's got a rose in the center it looks like some lavender not lavender like maybe i don't know what they are little star flowers or something but it says always and forever on the back and it says mikasa japan I paid $2.85 for this, and it is listed for $12. <clears throat> we have a silver-plated swan ring holder. It's got some detail down there in the bottom. It's marked silver-plated. Made in Hong Kong. Oh, I guess I have that upside down. <laughs> there we go. Now we can read. This was $2.29, and it is also listed for $18. Um, this box, I have been looking at this box. Every time I have gone to Goodwill, the last three times I think I've been in there, I have looked at this box and thought that it was so cute the cardinals on here stick up a little bit, like they're kind of dimensional. It's hand painted. It says on the back, it says handmade in Kashmir, India, exclusively for Kim Cow. And this is a lacquered box. It's black on the inside. You can see like the lacquer has yellowed around these edges here. But um, I paid a dollar for it, and it's listed for $12. It's got these pretty holly leaves and berries, and then the cardinals. And I love birds, so I just, I had to get it. It's been sitting there too long, and I've picked it up every time I've been in there. So this time, it's mine. This next one, I'm not sure if this is Fostoria or not. I'm not sure how to tell if it is. There are no markings on the bottom. But this is like the coin dot pattern. And there is a little bit of scratching on the inside. Like somebody used this for something. I don't know what, but... Uh, I paid $2.29 for this, and I have it listed for $25. I also want to show you that I picked up this beautiful little Fenton. I think this is the Thousand Eyes, because if you look at those little dots, you see all kinds of other little dots reflecting in it. But... I didn't notice when I bought this that it had a huge crack down the side. So this is mine. 
but I only paid a dollar for it, so I'm not gonna complain. And it's Fenton, and it has cadmium in it, and I will show you real quick here that it does glow. It's gonna be kinda hard to see that it glows, but you can tell there, like not all of it glows. Certain bubbles don't glow. Isn't that cool? So that's cadmium in there, but that's mine. I'm keeping it since it's broken. There's no point in selling it. The next thing is the best thing that I found, I think. It is this, I don't know if they call it square. I'm not sure the shape really of this, if I would call it square, but that's what we are calling it. And this is a platter and this is by Vilroy and Bach. So, um, I know that Vilroy and Bach is a good name to pick up. And so I didn't even look it up in the store when I saw that it was Vilroy and Bach. It just went in the cart. I did good. <laughs> I only paid $3.09 for this and it's listed for $50. So because of its shape, I think this is um, a unique piece and we'll see how it does. I have some other Vilroy and Bach stuff listed. It's more of a, I feel it's, it's the, it's a white background and it has yellow and green. I don't know. It's some sort of yellow flower and like green ivy or something. I can't think of what it is right now, but that is a great find. Whew. And then the next thing I have is another cool little tray and it's got the blue around the edges and some pretty hand painted florals it's not marked but it does have holes drilled let me see if I can find them holes here and then there's also a hole over here so you could hang this on the wall this way or you could hang it this way which I thought was pretty cool um, there, of course, there's no marks, so I couldn't find this exact tray, but I paid $2.29 for it, and I have it listed for $20. So, let me give you a total here real quick. Okay, so, um, we paid $26.95 for all of the stuff except for the Fenton piece that I'm keeping, and our projected sales are $238. So our projected profit for this haul is $211. I'm pretty happy with that. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you want to comment down below, let me know what your favorite thing was in this haul. And also if you could share the video to Facebook or anywhere that would be awesome it would help me out tremendously thanks for watching guys I really appreciate it bye